When disaster strikes your SharePoint on-premises environment, your top priority is to get the system running again quickly. Disaster recovery with SharePoint is quicker and easier when you have a backup environment already running in Microsoft Azure. This is called a warm standby environment. Consider this on-premises SharePoint site with a web server, application server, and Microsoft SQL server. If something goes wrong, it helps to have a replica of your system ready to use while you troubleshoot. You can connect your on-premises environment with a similar one in Azure using a VPN tunnel. You can quickly switch users to the warm standby with a few manual steps. This gives you time to troubleshoot the on-premises problem. You'll need to prepare your warm standby environment in advance to make sure it's ready when you need it. Add a file server on-premises and another in Azure. Configure the SQL log shipping feature to write SharePoint database backups and transaction logs onto your on-premises file server. In this example, we're replicating the SharePoint content database. Not all SharePoint databases support SQL log shipping. See the documentation for details at aka.ms slash spazdr. Set up distributed file system to replicate the SharePoint backups and transaction logs over the VPN tunnel to your file server in Azure. Once you configure a warm standby environment like this, it's ready when you need it. When trouble strikes, switch the users to Azure so they can keep working. The process works like this. Stop incoming user traffic to the on-premises SharePoint web server. You can do this by disabling DNS entries or shutting down the web server. Stop the SQL log shipping to Azure. Restore the SQL backup and replay the transaction logs in the order they were created using the replicated files. Manually attach the SharePoint database to your web application, which causes SharePoint to recognize the restored site. Start a full crawl on each content source to update the search service. Set backups for the new SQL database so you have all the data needed to switch back to the on-premises environment later. And finally, point your DNS entries to Azure, which redirects users to the newly restored SharePoint site. At this point, your users can continue to work while you resolve the original problem in the on-premises environment. You can reverse this process to switch back to on-premises at your convenience. For the full details about this Azure-based SharePoint disaster recovery configuration, see aka.ms spazdr.